So it's time to get this thing up off the bed. This Xbox is how I watch movies, DVDs, play video games, whatever I want to do, I can do with this Xbox. I've been sitting on top of this storage box, but it takes up room on my bed. There's no shelf up here. There's some frame here I can fill, and I'm gonna mount over here. So the goal is to mount these boards so I can have some frame. This is wall is pretty much a hollow wall. I mount these on here, get this Xbox up off this bed so I get floor space again for my feet. So now I have the shelf finally installed. Nice and sturdy and not going nowhere. I just gotta do some cord management. Put my boards in to give my places for my frame to go in because this wall has no support in it. But I was able to screw into the frame here. So I know I've got good contact here. The back corners, I'm not so certain if I've got all the way through. I am partially through that uh, stripping. So if I have just wall and stripping, I've got at least something there. But hopefully I went all the way through and I've got into the frame. But I left it stripping and cut it loose because what that does is causes the shelf to be slightly cantered out so I can put a strap through the back side of this come up over the top of the Xbox I can strap the Xbox in place so it won't move when I'm traveling so the goal is to put these wood boards up and use these cups mount them to the board and then use my bar to go into the cups and then zip tie the shelf to the bar I think that's gonna work then if I need to go ahead and put some dry anchor, drywall anchors into the wall, as long as I don't puncture the outer wall, it should be fine. So there's a finished shelf put in place. The other shelf. I have lots of leg room and foot room underneath the shelf. This shelf is not currently mounted to the wall. I'm trying to decide exactly where I want this to finally be. <clears throat> If you look up here at these bars, that's tight. So it's not likely to slide anywhere. It can, it can still, by picking up, I can slide it forward a bit. I don't wanna go too far because it'll catch the TV. So trying to get the exact position I want this. If I come all the way back though, that's all the further back it goes, but because of the sloping roof I don't have as much height over here as I do over on this side so I think I want to be somewhere about here I think maybe that way I have a little bit more height back here to, to place some things and still have the full height up in the front so it's pretty simple to take it back down It's just that simple since I haven't got it permanently mounted to the wall I'm still trying to decide where I want it this way and as it right now I may not even mount this to the wall because simple fact that uh, I don't think it's really gonna be an issue I'm on these balances already and they're pretty tight to the wall and all I'm doing is making more holes in my wall to possibly give it a little more structural support but I think this works without making holes in the wall so you can see Pretty simple to put back in place and this all came from uh, Home Depot if I remember right so once the time you get the bars and the shelf you're a little too short width wise once you put the two pieces of wood and a little extra thickness of the plastic it makes it pretty tight against the wall without having to put any screws in See, there's not hardly any movement there. If we look here on the wall, that board doesn't have a whole lot of room for it to move. Just a little bit. And put the shelf up. Then I'm gonna take zip ties, some plastic ties. These are a little too small, so I get some bigger ones. I'm just gonna zip tie to the frame. That should be good to go. Hey, if you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I prefer a thumbs up.